All right. I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his, the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Also through the Holy Spirit. We're called Hakodash. All right. And I want to give a hearty shalom. Uh, double. I want to give double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone and Real Well. Uh, hearty shalom to the brothers that labor in truth and sincerity. All right. Fighting through adversity to uh, push this gospel. All right. Of the kingdom. The word of Heavenly Father to the Israelites. All right. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. And also the the um, confusion of face Israelites, who they father line go back to um, being Israelite, cause you are your nationality is determined by your uh, father. Okay. So I want to get into a quick lesson about waiting, being patient, uh, an exhortation to keep on uh, fighting, to keep on pushing all the way to the end, cause our Lord Yahweh Shah said. All right, he that endured into the end, the same should be saved. So you're gonna have different trials, tests, okay, you know, placed in different adverse situations. All right, to test your faith in uh, the heavenly Father, our power, okay. And there's coming a time uh, of Jacob's trouble and the hour of temptation where your faith is really gonna be tried, and then we're gonna see. Who's the Lord's elect, okay? Because through all of that, you're going to have to be put through the fire to see if you're going to, at the end of the day, put your trust in the Heavenly Father, who is the true power in the planet Earth. No other power, okay, is going to be able to deliver you from the time that we're coming into, okay? So let's get into it. This is a... Uh, Habakkuk, this Habakkuk 2 and 2, and Yahweh, uh, uh, Yahweh, okay, when it's Lord in all cap, caps like that, that's Yahweh, okay, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, all right, and this was to Habakkuk, okay, which was a prophet, and at that time, he wrote the vision and made it plain for the people, and now we're doing the same thing, man, the vision all right, it was sealed for a time, but now it's unlocked through the spirit. Okay, y'all, I did that. All right, when he uh went through what he went through, died on the cross and rose and sat on the right hand of the heavenly Father. All right, the seals was unlocked in Revelations. Okay, I think it's the fifth chapter. Yeah, I wish I did that, man. No other man. So write the vision. All right, and make it plain up on tables, and that's what we're doing. All right, we're breaking the scriptures down that he may run that reading thing so that he may understand that uh, go through these scriptures, okay? Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So the Most High has said everything in, a, in his time span, not our time span. Everything has a, a appointed time, all right? So everything's not going to happen on our time, but the Most High's time, okay? Though it tarry, okay, though it seem to uh, tarry, wait for it. Lucky. Though it seem to not come at the time you wanted to, and it's being drawn out. Wait for it, man. Okay, just wait for it. Go through your hell, okay, because our Lord went through his hell. Okay, and this, and we was, okay, we in captivity because we went off. So we being punished right now. We're also being tested because you come into this gospel, it's about suffering, man. Okay? So you got to wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right? Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The Most High, you know, is faithful. You know? He, he, he He's faithful. He's going to hold his word, man. All right? The Most High is going to hold His word, okay? This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. He's not like a man. A man go back on His word. He say something or make a promise. The Most High said that I put my word above my name, meaning what He said, 
what he said and what he promised to us are right, the kingdom. He promised us dominion over the nations, uh, all the resources of the world, and uh, the governance of all the people of the world. Okay, talking to you Israelites, all right. He promised us that to our, our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he's going to fulfill that promise. We just have to wait for it, okay? It's Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. All right? So, yeah, the most high, man. The most high is going to fulfill his promises to the Israelites. He's going to fulfill his promises to you Edomites, which are you so-called white people. All right? He's going to destroy your asses. All right? And put you in slavery by the hand, by the hand of his people. He's going to put the uh, other nations in captivity. He's going to uh, purify the world with fire. All right? The first death was by water. The second death going to be by fire, man. Oh, by way, by way of these thermonuclear missiles, okay? So the most I said it will accomplish, all right, and it will prosper in his word will in the, in the planet Earth. So this is Isaiah 55 and 12. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And it's the Israelites, okay, being delivered out of their captivity, out of the hell that they were placed there. <laughs> out of the sick environment, okay, out of wickedness, the and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into sinking, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. And that's more metaphorically speaking, man. The earth is going to be enjoyed, man, when the righteous are in authority, okay. Instead of the thorn shall come a fir tree, and instead of the bar shall come up the uh, Mara tree and it shall be Yahweh it shall be Yahweh for a name for everlasting sign that shall not be cut off so the most high uh, the kingdom for the Israelites is going to be beautified alright it's going to be beautiful man it's not going to be no more apartments and and bandos and no more captivity in hell man but it's going to be beautiful dude all right, so let's get it, man. All right, this is Hebrews 10 and 37, and it reads, uh, I started 36, for ye need, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the heavenly Father, ye might receive the promise. What is the will of Heavenly Father? Go out on the highways and the byways, man. And preaching His word, man. Whether they hear or forbear, talking to you Israelites and preaching the downfall of these uh, of this kingdom, man. All right? Putting up these videos. Uh, doing the uh, best you can. Following the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? Loving your brother. All right, doing right by your brother, man, like you want your brother to do right by you. All right? So you would need a patience, man, after you have done these things. Hebrews 10 and 37. For yet a little while, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. All right? The most high, he going to come, man. All right? By sending his by sending his son, Yahweh Shah. All right? Hebrews 10 and 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man... Draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if any man draw back, man, the most high ain't going to have no pleasure in him, man. Going back into the world, all right, because you can't take the heat. All right, so you have to get out the kitchen, uh, the cares of this world, all right, the pleasure that America uh, uh, offers, all right. You uh, went back into it, man, all right. The most I said, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Okay, but verse 39, but we are not of them who draw back into perdition. So we ain't them that go back into the world and draw back into destruction. All right, because you go into the world, man, you're going to be destroyed. Okay, but, uh, but 
of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we believe, man, of the promises, man, and getting, getting delivered, man, and getting the kingdom. That's what we believe, man. We don't believe in going back into the world, man, because that's, that's that you you asking to be destroyed, all right? You asking to go through all types of hell, and you you want to, you know, you want to receive all the uh, the plagues that's coming to the world, man. All right, that's just writing a death wish, okay? Like the people say. So you gotta you gotta understand, man. You just gotta wait, man. For the Most High, got a determination, man, for the planet Earth. Don't be unfaithful, man. Be 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 faithful, okay? Don't be faithless. Be faithful. Okay, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, unto the day that I rise up to the prey. All right, and they pray on it, starting with these Edomites, okay, so-called white people. They pray on us, man. All right, writing their laws, having their uh, meetings. All right, they prayed on our people, man, to benefit off our, uh, our, our for us being in captivity, okay, for my determination is to gather the nation. So the Lord said, wait on me, man, till the day I rise up to this damn devil and all these other heathen, man. Because my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. All right? So this is the valley, the, this is the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. The war I'm getting. Okay? Even all my fierce anger. So the mo most high is pissed off, man. Okay? For they, um... Uh, Lying on his name, man, and for them, uh, and for them treating us, the Israelites, like they have been, man. All right, for all the earth should be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, the, the Most High is gonna destroy the world by fire, man, by way of thermonuclear missiles and by way of the chariots of the Most High, man, the chariots of Israel. They're gonna be shooting concentrated fire on this place too, man. All right, so man, don't listen. Don't listen to people, man. All right? People will be like, especially you Israelites. You you Israelites, man, wicked. All right? You go back into the world. <clears throat> or you never came into the truth. And you be popping mad shit, you know? This is Ezekiel 12 and 22. Son of man, what is the proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying? The days are prolonged and every vision fell it. Tell them, therefore, thus say Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision, for there shall be no more vain visions, nor flattering divinations within the house of Israel. All right? So, man, don't never mind these uh these people, man, that, that uh, never mind the infidelity, meaning unbelief. All right, they faithlessness, cause they say the most high, you know, y'all been talking that shit since for a long time. That ain't coming to pass. All right, don't never mind them, man. Cause the most high ain't gonna fulfill his promise. You just gotta wait for it, man. All right. Uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse 27. Son of man, behold, they are the house of the house of Israel. Say, the vision that he see is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. You know, that's what people say, man. You Israelites, you, you people that call yourself Israelites, okay? You are Israelites, but you wicked. Okay, and the people that's are two-thirds of our people, okay? That don't come back to their heritage, they just want to be Americans, okay? Or whatever the hell they want to be, all right? This is what you say, man. Stop talking that shit, man. That stuff is... Years to come down the road. Ezekiel 20, 12 and 28. Therefore, saying to them, Thus said the Lord Power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said Yahweh Power. Okay. It's a lakia. So, yeah, the most I say, he gonna, he gonna do it, man. You just gotta wait for it, okay? You gotta wait for it, and you gotta uh, take pleasure in waiting for it, man. Okay, this is a fight until the end, man. You're going to be fighting for your soul because you got spiritual demons out here. You got people. You got lust of the flesh, girls of the world. You got 
different situations you placed in, man. You just got to fight, bro. Limitations 3 and 20, 25. All right. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeking him. Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Okay. So don't be popping shit, man, and complaining all the goddamn time, man. The Lord ain't coming when he coming. Man, quietly wait for the Lord, man, and hope, man. Just take pleasure in it, man. Scream on the highways and the byways, man. And do make videos. Use use the different avenues that the Most High has given you, man. Pray fast, okay? Uh, stay in your Bible. Be diligent. And, 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 and pray to the Lord that he put you a spirit of endurance on you, okay? So with that, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shah through the Holy Spirit, Rekha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone, short, uh, that rule well in truth and sincerity. I want to give a hearty shout out to the brothers that labor in this gospel fighting adversity to put out this truth and sincerity.